how easy or not is it to look at the recommendations that would involve changes to bargaining, things like how long a shift is, for instance? Well, those are uh, some of those issues are more difficult than others. Some of them we can you know, make some short-term agreements with associations. There's benefits to both sides. Uh, sometimes our associations are bringing forward the recommendations themselves. But sometimes there are entrenched benefits that have to be bargained and they may take some time. Yeah, because the report was quite critical. I think at one point it pointed out that the bar, like the collective agreements are there for the um, sort of the convenience of the, the workers as opposed to what might be best for the, the taxpayers. Like, how do you respond to some of those comments that came out of the review? Well, again, it's, it's something that we have to look at. The 12 hour shift is a good example of that. It's a bargain benefit. And uh, if we want to change the shifting, as they mentioned tonight, uh, to an 11 hour shift as we see in Vancouver. That's something that has to be bargained fairly and, and uh, that's a process that takes some time and it's something we'll look at of course, uh, but again it's part of a collective agreement that we respect and, and there are two people, uh, two, uh, two sides to an, uh, a collective agreement, both the, the uh, board and our, our group, so we've agreed to that and uh, if we're going to change it we'll have to sit down and, and bargain those changes.